there, it's Jill from Glimmerbug, and today I wanted to share with you that I just got a new watercolor palette. It's the um, Art Philosophy um, by Prima collection. It's watercolor confections, and it's got a lot of uh, really pretty colors in the tropical set. So there's 12 colors in all, and it comes with, um, in this little set, little tin, adorable, so good for travel. And um, I've pre-wet these little pans after I opened them, and I thought I'd do the little color swatch so that we could see what they look like together. So let's get started. So the first color is Island, which is a green. Ooh, that's a pretty color. It's like a, a really vibrant emerald green. It's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can. So it's like a vibrant uh, emerald color. The next color is coconut. Coconut, which is like a, almost like a maize gold color. That's a nice color. Hurricane is next. I'm excited to use this palette because I really wanted to get another, a different brand. I have the Jane Davenport colors and um, in the similar type of palette and I love them, but I wanted to try something a little different. Uh, Parrot is next, which is a pretty green. So yeah, the Hurricane was a pretty blue and now Parrot is almost like a lime green color. Hibiscus is next, and that's, ooh, that's a pretty, like a red orange, almost like a, a blood orange color. That's a really pretty color. And palms, this looks like it's gonna be kind of a darker green. Yep, so that is darker than Island. It's almost, um, Almost kind of like a forest green. So that's nice. That would work very well in conjunction with the island color. Um, Pitaya, Pitaya, I'm not quite sure how to say that, but it's like a red, a deep red color. Wow, that's a pretty color. It's almost a reddish, magenta-ish color. Uh, reef. Looks a little purple. Let's see. Oh my God, like a dark, dark, dark purple. Yeah, that is a super dark. It looks black on the screen. So does this palms, but this is definitely a uh, dark green and this is definitely a dark purple. Pineapple. Oh, look at my my brush got my paint dirty. Hmm. I don't like that. It bums me out. I hate that. <laughs> All right, pineapple. So this is more yellowy, a lighter version than the coconut. So it's a brighter yellow. Sunset looks like a nice magenta. Yep, that's a pretty color. That's probably going to end up being used the most. I love magenta. Between the magenta and the parrot color. Mm -mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Ocean looks dark blue. Yep, so this is a nice dark blue. Almost like um, when... I was a little kid and the Crayola box had the color uh, Midnight Blue. That's what that color looks like. And then last but certainly not least is Tiki. Tiki, Tiki, Tiki. And that's a brownish color. So those are some pretty, pretty colors. I like this this palette, I'll definitely be able to use it. So I got it on um, Amazon 
and it was um, around $25 and that's a pretty good deal um, it's Prima's a very good name for um, art materials so this is my first time having a Prima watercolors and I love the colors right now so now I'm gonna have to go do a couple little projects on some watercolor paper to see how they um, how they look actually let's grab a piece of watercolor paper move that up and we'll just see we'll do a little another little test so let's take some of this island and let's take some of this green parrot green they go nicely together and we'll go down here with some palms which is that darker green see side by side you can see that this one is definitely darker palms is darker than island Uh, let's get some hurricane. I love seeing them go together, like dance together. Um, I'll put some ocean over here. Yeah, see that's darker than the hurricane. Who am I going to put up here in the top right? How about some... How about some, oh, let's see, mm, I think I'll take some reef that's going to, I'm going to have to keep that away from my parrot green because that is going to make yuck. But I'll put some purple reef up here and then I can always use this paper to cut up later for something else. Um, coconut, I'm going to take that down here. mop that up a little bit and how about a little pineapple and let's see maybe some I don't know if you say a potato 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 I'm not quite sure it's a pretty red though We'll put some sunset next to it. And let's see, how about, um, what haven't I used? Hibiscus. That's pretty, I like that hibiscus color. And we did pineapple. Which one am I forgetting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, tiki. Hello. Tiki, tiki. Tiki, tiki, tava. I'll put that down the bottom. I'll be able to use this to cut this up into a nice little swatch. There. Move that up so you can see. My colors are kind of oozing off the side, so I'll blot that up a little bit. And they're super, super vibrant. The monitor just doesn't do it justice. I mean, it looks really pretty. It's very bright, and I love that. I'm a super uh, bright paint colored person, so that is pretty great. So, and they move beautifully on the page, so... Yeah, I am, I am sold on this palette. I'm definitely going to be using this one. So, yeah, this is the, um, whoops, the Art Philosophy by Prima, the Tropicals Watercolor Confections palette. And I've got a link um, on my uh, website to this if you are interested in checking them out. And definitely worth a try. I would give it a two thumbs up. Um, so, if you um, are new to my channel, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'd love to keep in touch. Let me know if you have tried this palette. I'd love to find out what you think. And um, I think I'm going to be using these in my upcoming watercolor class that will be online. So stay tuned for that. Visit me on Glimmerbug.com. Have a great day.